Hey there, I am back with a Kickstarter deck preview for Quantum from QED Playing Cards. Now, QED is the creation of Jason and Yuko out of Germany. Jason is a physicist with a passion for collecting playing cards, and he wanted to combine those two interests in producing a deck of cards of his own. Now, this is a prototype version of the deck, so expect some changes as we go. This one's produced by MPC, Make Playing Cards. Uh, whereas the final version is going to be produced by Carta Mundi. Uh, but this look should give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect with the artwork and with the deck itself. Now, I wanted a deck that was really functional for cardistry, for magic, but also had tons of Easter eggs for the science fans in the crowd. And this deck definitely delivers on both. Now, starting with the tuck case, it's done in a really cool purple color. I love that color. Definitely one that I think is underused. Uh, in playing cards in general. And then you have this particle wave on the front uh, made out of red, orange, and yellow lines. Really cool look to it. I love the shape of that overall. Uh, and just the simplicity and cleanliness of the front of that tuck case. No name or extra ad copy of any sort that's on here. Now you do get the name of the deck over here on the side. It just says Quantum. And then on the other side, the first of our many nods to the physicists in the crowd. This is, I believe, a version of the Schrodinger equation. Basically expresses the change of a wave function over time. Uh, so if you're into physics, you'll probably know more about this, uh, but cool additions among the many that we're gonna see through the deck. Uh, bottom here, of course, has your ad copy. This one labels it as the prototype version of the deck. And then you get that multicolored uh, barcode on the side and includes yet another little Easter egg. You have the 6.626 E negative 34 down here. Uh, this is Planck's constant, a uh, significant number in physics uh, named for Max Planck. Uh, so another cool little Easter egg on the bottom there. Uh, top, you have QED playing cards along with their logo. And then the back has the Rutherford model of the atom. Uh, so just a depiction of the atom on the back. So really nice tuck case. I like the purple quite a bit on this one. Definitely one that stands out, but still nice and simple uh, tuck case that you won't feel bad about opening or anything like that. Uh, now as you open it up on the inner flap, you get a quote from another physicist, Niels Bohr. Uh, it says, anyone who is not shocked by quantum theory has not understood it. And then more physics bits on the inner flaps here, change in P and change in X. Uh, and then nothing printed on the interior of the tuck case. So that's the tuck case, nicely done overall. Uh, the back design of these cards though is outstanding and probably my favorite feature of the whole thing. Uh, it takes some inspiration from things like Orbit and some of those other cardistry focused decks, uh, but really puts a unique spin on it. You have that purple background with a little bit of gradient to it, kind of getting darker in the center. The uh, model of the atom there in the center, and then these beautiful swirling dots that kind of spiral into that center. Creates a really sort of hypnotic pattern, one that looks great if you use this like in spins or packet cuts, uh, but really vibrant colors finishing with that yellow, orange, and red with the atom in the middle. I love the little white stripes here. I think this would have looked great as a borderless back design, but even with the border, which keeps it nice and functional for magic, still a great look overall and just a really standout back design to the card. So super well done on that. Uh, but yeah, you do have that nice thin white poker border around the edge. That's the back design. Uh, the two jokers are references again to Schrodinger. Uh, so we met, heard Schrodinger mentioned with the tuck case. He also gets a mention on the jokers. Uh, the jokers are a reference to his famous thought experiment, Schrodinger's cat, where basically he had this idea that a cat that was in a box was both dead and alive until you opened the box. He didn't know whether he was dead or alive, therefore he was simultaneously dead and alive. So here, of course, you have the dead and the alive cat, uh, just differentiated by the little eye peeking open there. The Joker Joker in the corner and then dead and alive written above the top. So very cool, love the reference on those, uh, pretty well done. And then you have the ad card. This is another cool little touch. This card is a physics experiment. As you can see here, it talks about Thomas Young's double, spl double slit experiment. Gives you a little bit of history of the experiment. And then on the back, it has di you know directions on how you can use with a laser and this card, you can turn these boxes down in here, down here into basically a replication of the experiment for yourself. So cool addition, uh, like the creativity of including that in the uh, in the uh, in the deck. 
All right, but now you get into the main part of the deck. And starting with the Power Ace, this one's done on the Ace of Clubs instead of the Ace of Spades. So this is the only Ace that stands out here and just features that large QED logo, basically the Atom with the club pip for the Nucleus. Uh, but very cool, simple, uh, fun design overall. Pretty classic pip and index in the corner. Slightly different pip from what you're used to, but nothing too out of the ordinary. So there's your Ace of Clubs. By the way, big appreciation for not including a bunch of copy and words on this one, just keeping it with a clean design. Number cards, other than that slightly custom pip, are pretty much what you've come to expect. Uh, you know, very similar feels like any bicycle deck or anything you've got, including the other four aces, all of which have just your uh, regular pip in the center. So not too much to say about these. Reds are red, blacks are black. Not gonna see too much out of the ordinary as we go through the number cards. But there's a quick look at the hearts to finish it out. So classic, functional, no complaints on that front for me. Uh, and then you get into the quartz. Now at the very first glance, these quartz look like they're definitely inspired by the, uh, by the classic quartz, but they are of course completely redone. And as you might've guessed, each one of these is a reference to a famous physicist, a famous scientist of some sort. Jason obviously has a passion for the scientists that he put into this deck, and it's really cool to see the touches. So we'll walk through Taco just really briefly about these. Not gonna go into every detail, because I think that's part of the fun of the deck is to discover some of those details for yourself. But for example, Jack of Clubs here, you have Satendra Bose, uh, was born in Calcutta. Uh, and he worked back in the 1920s. He even collaborated with Einstein. A lot of these physicists worked together back at that time. Uh, but he came up with, so if you've ever heard of bosons, a type of subatomic particle, uh, bosons were named for this guy. Uh, so named in honor of this guy. So Bose and then boson. Uh, by the way, among the other things he did outside of physics, he had a lot of different interests, art and music as well. But he played this string instrument called the Ezraj. And uh, so that's what you see over here on the on the right and the left. So very cool look, kind of a classic feel. The purple, orange, and yellow is a great color combination. And then you have the pretty well-drawn, I think, faces here representing, and I think they're pretty good depictions of the physicists themselves. So very cool, lots of little references as you get into everything here. I think if you're a physicist yourself, a lot that you'll probably appreciate that I didn't pick up on either but very cool additions. Uh, now going on to the Queen of Clubs, this is Lise Metner. Uh, she was an Austrian-Swedish physicist uh, who helped discover nuclear fission. Uh, she was never actually recognized for that. So a lot of the physicists you see here won Nobel Prizes. Lise was actually nominated 48 times for a Nobel Prize and never won one. Uh, even though one of her collaborators was awarded a solo award for the work that she and he did together. Uh, so very cool look over there at a probably underappreciated physicist from history. And then the king of clubs, this is Niels Bohr. Uh, we saw his quote on the inner flap here. Uh, so Niels Bohr was quoted on the inner flap. Uh, and one of the most well-known physicists on this entire list. Uh, he was famous for, among other things, debating with Einstein. And he had a really well-known love for beer. And so you can see that celebrated with little green bottles that are on his, uh, on his outfit there. So very cool to see Niels Bohr celebrated. Uh, the Jack of Diamonds, this is Werner Heisenberg. Uh, many different contributions. Uh, you may have heard of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, basically this idea that you can't predict both the uh, momentum and the position of a particle at the same time. So that was one of his many contributions to the world of physics. He was also, by the way, an avid mountain climber. And so you can see that pick and rope in his hand there. Just a nod to some of his interests outside of the world of physics. I really, by the way, love those those extra additions outside of the uh, sciences that he included in here. All right, Queen of Diamonds. This is Irene Joliot Curie. Uh, you may know her mother, Marie Curie, perhaps the more famous, but this is the daughter of Marie Curie. Uh, she was a famous uh, scientist in her own right, has a Nobel Prize to her name, and she worked as a nurse radiographer during World War I. So her work as a radiography kind of giving a nod with the x-ray there in her hands. And then you get to the King of Diamonds. Now, I thought at first that this was Einstein. Uh, I'm mistaken though, this is Max Planck. Max Planck. Uh, so heard a couple of references right here on the bottom. If you remember that 
uh, 6.626. Uh, that's Planck's constant, uh, but he gets a nod on the King of Diamonds. Uh, by the way, among his other contributions, he was a famous uh, musician. So you can see the music notes there on the side. He actually almost became a musician instead of a scientist. All right, the Jack of Spades. This was actually one of the first court cards of any of them that I personally saw. This is Edwin Schrodinger. I uh, know we saw about his ex his thought experiment with the dead and alive cats. Because of course you get dead and alive cats there on his uh, on his clothing. Uh, but very uh, very cool to see Schrodinger on here. Uh, he had tons of different contributions from biology to color theory, uh, but quantum mechanics was probably the most significant that he did. All right, then you go to the Queen of Spades. So we saw her daughter. This is Marie Curie, an absolute pioneer in the world of radiation. First woman to win the Nobel Prize, actually won two of them in physics and chemistry. And you can see the little radioactive symbol there on her staff. Love how these kind of give you that sort of classic feel of your court cards, you know, the two-way courts and everything, but then have just so many hidden references throughout this whole thing. All right, then we get to the King of Spades, usually reserved for one of the most significant cards in the whole deck. And the King of Spades here is Richard Feynman, one of the more recent physicists, I would say, in the deck. Uh, contributed substantially to the field of computing. So he gets a little punch card there in the center. And by the way, he also played the bongos. That's why he's, uh, you have the bongo here on this one as well. So very cool one on that. And then we get to the heart. So the heart, Jack of Hearts here, this is Paul Dirac. Uh, famous for predicting the presence of antimatter and developed a lot of the uh, theory of quantum electrodynamics, otherwise known as QED. Uh, so he discovered basically a lot of the field that uh, lent its name to QED playing cards overall. And then you get to the Queen of Hearts. This one is Maria Geppert Mayer, uh, was the second woman to win the Nobel Prize for Physics, uh, following up uh, Marie Curie's work. And was also a member of the Manhattan Project. As you can see the little mushroom cloud there from the nuclear explosion. The Manhattan Project uh, was where they basically developed the first atomic bomb. Another nice one. And last but not least is Ernest Rutherford. Uh, he's the guy, you heard me mention, this is the Rutherford model of the atom. So that was one of his many contributions. Uh, he also discovered the concept of half-life of radioactive material, identified alpha and beta ra radiation. As you can see, a few of the references on him, you know, he's up here holding basically the Ruther Rutherford model of the atom. You can see the alpha and beta there on his, uh, on his kind of the lining of his coat there. So obviously as he discovered those types of radiation. So another nice one. This is one of my favorite drawn ones. I think the, the mustache and everything, just really good look to this one overall. Uh, so that is the deck. Now I'm not gonna talk too much about handling other than to say these are from NPCs. So I'm not gonna be able to judge the handling of these, but it's being done on that B9 finish from Cardamundi. So expect that these cards are gonna have phenomenal handling overall. Uh, but that's it, that is the deck. I think really well done, especially if you're a fan of uh, if you're a fan of the sciences, this definitely is a deck that I think you should have in your collection. Also really suitable for cardistry, gameplay, whatever you want to use it for. So I think you did a great job of keeping a full custom deck, but combining it with one that was functional. That's it. That is the look at Quantum from QED Playing Cards. Funding now on Kickstarter. Like I said up top, go check out the link in the description if you want to follow along, support uh, Jason and QED as they try to get this deck funded. I'm a backer. Definitely recommend checking it out too. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this little preview. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see and I'll see you for the next one.